I think that it happens in a very unique way. In Philly, um, as a kid, I would box from time to time. My grandfather was a boxer, and um, Muhammad Ali was prevalent uh, uh, in my life. Um, he actually uh, taught me uh, uh, different boxing techniques. Um, and, and, you know, for me, I, I will always cherish those those memories. I mean, you, that's the greatest of all time. All time, right? You know, all time. Um, I would say to answer your question, it's almost like this. Until Ali passed, and it was a beautiful homegoing home service in Louisville, um, everyone from the world was there. Most people don't know that one of his closest friends was uh, Senator John McCain. Okay. Senator John McCain and Muhammad Ali were tight, tight like brothers. Um, it wasn't about politics. It was about business and it was about influence. Mm -hmm. And um, and I began to model a lot of what I do and how I navigate through my professional career the same way. Um, and so how they join to your question, um, it really gets, but it gets to a point where you have to make decisions that's going to make a positive impact and not let your political beliefs uh, change the trajectory in which um, things are set out for you. So what does that mean? Um, I was a presidential fellow in the Bush administration, uh, but when I le um, I met a senator from Illinois uh, who said he wanted to be the leader of the free world. Mm -hmm. At that time, he said, you know, I was here in Atlanta. He said, you got a funny name like me. He said, you support me, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. And um, his name is Barack Obama, you know, our 44th president of the United States. Um, so it's not a coincidence, um, just in 2011, um, that I got a call from Washington uh, to be appointed as regional administrator for the U.S. Small Business Administration, the first African-American uh, in Region 4 ever. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't know that at that time. Um, actually, I had a, a banker tell me that after I was in a role. But I will tell you, Troy, when I was in Washington, they were asking me a series of questions. They said, well, Cassius, you, um, let's see here, you were appointed to uh, serve in a role in workforce development. Um, I won't name the elected official by this elected official who was a conservative. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we also saw that your grandfather ran for office uh, in Orlando, and in, although he did not designate it, we know he was a Republican, he was mm -hmm. a conservative. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, and I'm sitting here like, okay, I don't have this job, you know. Right. And they said, well, you know what? You're exactly who we want. We want someone who's able to work across party lines, that sees a bigger picture, mm -hmm. that just wants to get the job done. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Right. So to answer your question, really, in any, in our society, yes, headlines look like they come from left or right, red or blue, but really it comes from green. Mm -hmm. Access to capital is what really changes and makes this, this country go around, Troy. Over 99% of the economy in this country runs off a of small business. Mm -hmm. So we may see a large corporation like a Walmart or, um, or, or Home Depot, whatever, what have you, but there are products in those stores and those products are made by what? Small businesses, right? right? Those are all people who actually are selling their product under those different entities. And so when you think about it in that, from that regard, politics doesn't matter. You know, you're, you're looking at economic opportunities and so when you talk about economic development and changes in our respective communities, we would like to make sure that we have proper housing. We'd like to have make sure that we have access to capital. We also would like to make sure that we have a sound education to stand on, to make sound and vivid decisions about how to make differences, not in our lives, but our children's lives and our children children's lives. That has nothing to do with politics. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's my mindset. And so I see that that's how I walk every day. Uh, I try to treat everyone the same. I try not to get involved into their personal space or their, po their politics. I just try to make good things happen because I think it was an ordained thing to do.